actress-turned-royal bride Meghan Markle, whose every move is being documented by the media, managed to visit Chicago without fanfare last month. She was spotted at O'Hare International Airport and a visa application office in the West Loop, but the details of where she dined, slept and spent her time during her weekend stay went unreported. She was rumored to have stopped by Booth One, very rep for the Gold Coast restaurant said she was not able to comment on that. And if Markle met with her Northwestern University sorority sisters when she was in town, they flew under the radar, like her April visit to Chicago. The details of Markle's time as a Northwestern student have mostly remained private. The suit star, who is set to marry Prince Harry at Windsor Castle on May 19, graduated in 2003 with a double major in international studies and theatre. In magazine interviews, she has talked of being a theatre nerd at Northwestern and exploring her biracial identity through an African-American studies class. She also served as the Kappa Kappa Gamma recruitment chairwoman and lived in the sorority house off Orrington Avenue some time after her freshman year. The Tribune reached out to more than 140 of Markle's sorority sisters, from her class and two classes before and after her, to get more insight into her college life. Most of the women did not respond to the request for comment. Some of those who politely declined to be interviewed offered that Markle always seemed lovely, was always very kind, is a delightful person, is a lovely person and is a truly wonderful person. Neil Carson, AP Meghan Markle visits the Icon Exhibition Center in Northern Ireland on March 23. Meghan Markle visits the Icon Exhibition Center in Northern Ireland on March 23. Neil Carson, AP. Meg was sort of always this ethereal, sophisticated, beautiful creature who lived with us and was always willing to lend you a top, said Liz Cores Graham, who rushed Kappa Kappa Gamma with Markle as a freshman and later lived with her in the sorority house. Markle, now 36, came to Northwestern in the fall of 1999 after graduating from a Los Angeles high school. She intended to study English, according to Andrew Morton's new book, Megan, a Hollywood Princess. A Northwestern spokesman, citing federal privacy laws, declined to share the courses Markle took and whether she changed majors. In a 2014 visit to the school as part of a tour promoting her USA Network series Suits, Markle shed some light on how she spent her freshman year. She told students she lived in the North Midquads dorm toward the southern end of campus, that she gained the dreaded freshman 15 through visits to a nearby Burger King and that she participated in the school's dance marathon fundraiser. In January 2000 she took part in the Panhellenic recruitment process, which involved visiting the various sorority chapters to see which one would be the best fit. She immediately impressed. We just wanted to be sure that we secured her interest in our sorority, said Colter Bump an education law attorney in Colorado and Kappa Kappa Gamma member who graduated a year before Markle. Myself and most of my sisters agreed that she just is a really lovely person. She is respectful and polite. She always had this manner to her of being dignified and poised, just very appropriate in every circumstance. A person like that is what I wanted to ensure we had in our house and luckily, she liked us back. Kappa Kappa Gamma has a reputation for attracting women who were popular in high school. Graham said her sorority class featured women who hailed from all over the world, and there was no hazing during recruitment. When Graham, Markle and their classmates officially joined the chapter, they received t-shirts that were inspired by the popular 1980s cartoon Gem and the Holograms and bonded at Chuck E. Cheese's. Graham said she got to know Markle through community service. They both volunteered with the Glass Slipper Project, an organization that collects donated dresses for teens who were unable to buy their own prom attire. Graham said they also painted homes for Habitat for Humanity. Years later, Markle's charity work would include traveling to Rwanda with World Vision to help with a clean water campaign. Back at Northwestern, it's unclear where Markle lived as a sophomore. She lived down the hall from Graham in the multi-story Kappa Kappa Gamma house their junior year. That house was so beautiful, I'll never live in a house that beautiful again. I guess none of us except Meg will live in a house that beautiful again, said Graham, a Chicago-based publicist and owner of Liz Cores Public Relations. There was a cooking staff, and there was a house mum, who was hilarious. Graham said Markle lived in one of the house's tiny single rooms that could fit a twin-sized bed a desk and a small wardrobe. One of the reasons she got her own space is that she served as the recruitment chairwoman, which involved welcoming potential members into the house and keeping track of them during rush. 
Northwestern University Meghan Markle's Kappa Kappa Gamma Sorority Portrait from Northwestern University, from school year 2000 to 2001. She is Prince Harry's fiancé. Northwestern University Photo Original Credit, Northwestern University Meghan Markle's Kappa Kappa Gamma Sorority Portrait from Northwestern University, from school year 2000 to 2001. She is Prince Harry's fiancé. Northwestern University Photo Original credit, Northwestern University, Northwestern University, a sorority sister who graduated a year after Markle and asked not to be named said Rush could be a really intimidating process, and Kappa is one of the best houses on campus, and so I think a lot of girls would get quite nervous, but she was always very, very keen to make it as warm and welcoming as she could. Graham said Markle was diplomatic as she navigated conflict in the sorority house. She often dispensed fashion advice and once showed Graham how to put on mascara, get really close to the base and then like wiggle the brush out. Markle left campus for a few months after her junior year. She interned at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires and considered a career in politics. She then headed to Madrid in September 2002 as part of a three-month program offered by IES Abroad a Chicago-based study abroad organization. She took five courses, the majority of which were taught in Spanish, and stayed with the host family. Javier Martinez de Velasco, who was the IES Abroad Madrid Center director at the time, recalled discussing the Madrid theater scene with Markle and described her as always pleasant, intelligent and articulate. While Markle returned to Northwestern, her schedule included a course about works by African-American playwrights taught by Harvey Young who was new to Northwestern at the time. Young and his eight students sat in a circle in spring 2003 and discussed plays including Dutchman and Color Struck. Young recalled talking with Markle during his office hours about her experiences being a biracial woman and the challenges of being fully embraced in certain communities. The fact that a person who's 21 could have such experiences around race, and such an awareness of what it means to be biracial or a raced person, really stuck with me, said Young who is now the Dean of the College of Fine Arts at Boston University. Markle graduated weeks later, but her portrait wasn't featured in the Northwestern yearbook with the rest of the class of 2003. She moved back to Los Angeles before landing her breakout role as paralegal-turned-lawyer Rachel Zane on Suits in 2010. She booked some small acting parts, including that of Hot Girl, in the 2005 movie A Lot Like Love starring Ashton Kutcher and Amanda Peet. Our group of friends kept in touch, Meg came back to Chicago a handful of times, and we'd see her. It was always fun to sort of track what she was doing next. We all went to the theater when she was in that A Lot Like Love movie, Graham said. It was so exciting. We were so pumped to just see somebody make it. Swartz at TribePub.com Twitter at Traces Swartz Related New Meghan Markle book rehashes her time at Northwestern Revisiting Meghan Markle's turn as a Chicago journalist in When Sparks Fly Meghan Markle says Northwestern class offered perspective in her identity struggle Know any Chicagoans going to England for the royal wedding? We want to talk to them. Check out the latest movie reviews from Michael Phillips and the Chicago Tribune. Check out reviews for all new music releases from Tribune music critic Greg Cott.